I'm fine. How's it going guys? My name is Oompa and welcome back to Mr. President. So in the last episode, Ronald Rump and I, his beloved bodyguard, <laughs> traveled to Mexico where Rump got smashed by a gigantic taco and that's not an innuendo. Why am I rhyming? What the fuck? And then we made our way over to the uh, country Trump admires the most due to the size and stature of their wall. That's a, that's a joke, okay? I just came up with that. I don't think anybody else has used that, so. They got a great wall there. Trump admired the wall, and then he fell into a bowl of noodles and fucking died, all right? I did a poor job saving him. As I've said in the last couple episodes of me playing this game, you guys really seem to enjoy it, okay? And so do I, because it's a fun game. It's objectively good. It's wacky, it's quirky, it's got a sense of humor, and it's got some of the most beautiful hair I've ever seen in my life. You know what I'm talking about, Trump's hair. It's fucking beautiful in this game. Rump's hair, whatever. I don't really care. Not rump hair. No, I'll just stop trying to be funny. <laughs> that was a dumb one. Let's go ahead and continue off from where we were in the last episode, which was uh, China, I think. China, China. And it looks like uh, Rump now has his own religion. Have you accepted Rump into your life? Learn how one aging businessman can solve all of your problems with a simple final solution. I'm just preaching to the choir. The it looks like I also have some more guns and stuff now in my apartment or my warehouse, whatever it is. I've got a don't tread on me flag, which is pretty dope. Um, I got a gun right here. Got some noodles from my trip to China. <laughs> got some action figures. I got a nice portrait of uh, Daffy Duck still. Some shoes there. More money, a lot more money, a phone and a new type of whiskey. That's Jägermeister, I think. Let's go ahead and see what this level is about. Oh, holy rump, is that you? I feel your omnipotent presence. Oh my God, that happened really quickly. He's got himself a giant statue. That's hilarious. Rump will solve all of your prop blems. Your prop blems. <laughs> Rump for president. What did this thing say over here? Follow the gospel of rump at fuckstud69 on Twitter. I'm gonna follow that actually. And I also failed, so let's try that again. I need to be very quick on this one and dive right off the bat. Okay, that didn't work. Luka! This one's gonna be really hard. Ooh, never mind. Hey, I overshot it that time. Eh, God damn it. Mm! Oh, that was a perfect one. That might be the best bullet block I've ever had in this game. <laughs> it hit me right in the back of the neck. That was pretty sick. Are you all right, Trump? Are you all right? Are you sure you're okay? I need to inspect your, your godly feet. Oh, Trump, I love you. <laughs> Swimming through his giant legs. What other cool shit can I do? I can defy the laws of gravity. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can do an awesome dance. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I need to do this in front of Trump. Want to see something cool, buddy? That's right, baby. Back it up. Back it up, old toad rump. Be careful. He might grab you by the pussy. Uh, what else can I do here? That, that was interesting. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta kick Trump. That's a great idea. Oh, my goodness. Get back up, Trump. I want to fight again. Okay. Oh, that was the next scene. Shit. Where is he? What's he doing? Standing up on a giant pedestal? Oh. Oh, that didn't work. What happened? That was weird. Oh, oh, Trump. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I made it up there. No, I'm falling off. Shit. That was so close. I could have almost saved my love. Oh, that's a good one right there. That was the best one yet. <laughs> right between the legs. And he didn't even fall off. Hell yeah. Mission successful. Trump is clear. There we go. And the shooter destroyed his statue. Oh, goodness. Statue knocked him right off there. Rump's godlike reflex dodges a bullet. It was actually me, bitch. Stupid bitch. Let's try the next scene here. Um, what do I need to do for this one? Rump, our savior, has ascended to gold heaven. <laughs> Whoa, now that's a white person right there, guys. These people are getting even whiter. Is that a joke? They should be turning yellow like Trump. So I'm assuming I need to run up here and then jump in front of the bullet, maybe. Oh, that's not how you do it. I'm gonna see if I can... Maybe fly through the air. Oh, <laughs> I did the car ride thing through the air. <laughs> that was awesome. I broke my Legos. Oh, I'm fine. I'm gonna see if I can do the car ride thing again. I, 
Where'd I go? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh, shit. Whoa, I went flying that time. I guess I'm just gonna have to do the standard old bullet thing. Wow, that worked. First time I actually tried to do it the right way, it worked. God has saved Rump once again. That is good to know. My baby is safe. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah! Yes! That was cool too! The holy power has protected Rump once again! Actually, it was my sweep. I sweeped him. Saved his ass. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, that was a good one. Don't fall off, Rump. Is he okay? He's fine. He's good. And I'm even better, bitch. I want to get shot. I want to see what it's like to get shot in slow motion while doing a capoeira kick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was barely in my capoeira kick before I got knocked in the head with a gigantic bullet. By the way, that bullet is huge. There are no bullets that are that size. Unless you count a 40 millimeter grenade, because that's about the same size. And I guess you could shoot a bullet if you wanted to, it just wouldn't make much sense. Be too fucking big and slow. Okay, we beat that one. That was pretty easy. I think that one might be my favorite right now. What's, what's the next one? Our rump plan for terrorism. Okay, so this is like his Guantanamo Bay policies, I guess. Yep. Yeah, oh, wow, that was very fast. Rump dead? Oh, the humanity! Let's get mo torture. It is a definitely a Club Gitmo reference. Whoa, did you see me fly off into the background there? There we go. Oh, shot his hairpiece again. Why does that kill him? You fired. That's right, you tell him, Trump. That was a pretty good one, but not really. Damn it. Knocked his wig off again. <laughs> Do a little jiggle. Eh, eh. Just shoot me in the hand, bullet! Shoot me in the goddamn hand! I did it, finally! And I think, I think if you tackle Trump, he falls into those spikes and probably dies. That's why they're there. Because other than that, that would make no sense. What is he doing, by the way? You fired. You fired. Let's get more torture. Let's torture more people. These terrorists aren't even human. Two. Next season. I mean scene. <laughs> he always stands in the strangest positions. Yeah. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I dove right in to his uh, thing. Oh, that might actually work. So that's the goal. I need to I need to knock the cage up. I need to break into the cage in order to save Rump from his certain demise. That I must have a really hard body. Oh, right in the barbed wire. Use my capoeira kick to break the cage. That's right. A little slow, but that's still cool. Maybe if I tackle this guy into all that shit. No. What the hell? That guy's invincible. <laughs> right in the head. Poor guy. He was just serving his country, that's all. Alright, this is gonna be a really difficult one because I don't know how to... Oh! Never mind. I should have got him that time. Oh my goodness! He landed on the poles! 10 out of 10! That is amazing right there. He bounced right up in the air while waving and then just slowly and lightly, gracefully sat down right on the poles, back to where he was. That's a good boy, Trump. That's a good boy. There we go. I did it again, but I don't think he's gonna land on the poles. He's just gonna fall right down. That was even funnier. Rump prisons coming to a city near you. Law and order. We just need to stop and frisk these terrorists and it'll solve all our problems. I'm sure of it. There we go. Let's fly through the fucking wall. Okay, or not. Where do I need to go here? Maybe this blue wall. Probably the blue wall. Yes, can bust a hole right through the blue wall. Break through that wall, break through that wall. Wow, I'm a real badass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit, where is Trump? Trump, there he is. Oh baby, oh man. Rump down! Oh, oh! Rump lives to inflict more pain. That one wasn't even disguised as an insult. Where are you, Trump, miss? Why can't I find you? How am I supposed to do that? There's a goddamn bomb right beside him. Jump. Yeah. Ah! That was an overshoot. <laughs> Look out, Trump! You're standing right next to a bomb! Honestly, if the man's that stupid to just stand next to a fucking bomb and let it explode, and it's clearly a bomb, too. It could be nothing else. It's got a giant fuse. Looks like a novelty bomb. Pretty much means it's a fucking novelty bomb. There we go. Got him. There's another bomb, though. He's fine. He's good. Oh, there's one more bomb. Damn it. I should have tackled him again. There we go. That was a great one. 
Now move out of the way, Trump. Move out of the way, you idiot! No! Shit. Um, he might- oh, shit. Gotcha, Trump. Gotcha. Saved your ass, buddy. Now there's one bomb. Get up, dude. Get up! Oh! He- he lived! That was awesome. Rump, what is international law? <laughs> Has any other presidential candidate ever had a game made after them? I doubt it. I don't think so. Look at this. He's gonna fall into the spikes. What an idiot. Rump dead in a graceful fall. Trump safe. Calls torture devices an untapped $50 billion industry. That's true. Hey man, it's a free market economy. Gotta find a way to make money somehow. Oh, they're waterboarding these people. Wow, that's great. Where's Trump at? Seriously, where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is up there. I don't get how I'm supposed to do this one. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to hit this thing and save him by lighting off that firework. Trump is saved! Because <laughs> I know how to use fireworks. What happened to that poor guy? He's got purple feet. You'll never escape, you dumb terrorist! <laughs> That kicked him right in the head. That was amazing. I love this game, guys. What is that? Finger hole? What is that supposed to mean? Is that one of them their innuendos? Let's do one of these things. We'll see. We'll see what's in this episode of uh, Rump WWE or whatever it is. Fake Wrestling United. I don't really know. It's not fake. It's real. Yeah. Yes. That was a good one. That was a really good one. I dove right onto him. All right, there he is laying on a table. What are his legs doing? You can say what you want about the man, but he sure can dance. Laying down, that is. Oh yeah, right on him. Blood everywhere. Look at his abs. That dude is in shape. Say what you want about his dancing ability and his policies, but man, he's got a really nice six pack. Oh, that was a really good one. Oh, look at all these ladders. Oh man. This is gonna be pretty interesting. Hell yeah! First try on that one too! And that's it, I guess. Alright, well thank you all for watching this episode of Mr. President. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you've not already. And I will see you in the next episode when I... Ask Billary Clinton if she needs some protection. Who am I kidding? She ain't had sex in years!